Hey guys, uh, welcome to your 2023 love prediction reading for Scorpio. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what's coming towards you guys in love, uh, what's around you guys uh, for 2023. Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, um, what advice we have for you, what to look out for. Um, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so tell me about Scorpio here in love. What is surrounding Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? What, what's coming towards Scorpio and love for 2023 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio? Okay, so we have the Six of Cups in the reverse and the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, uh, you know, I feel like with the Six of Cups in the reverse, I feel like you are having not so happy memories about the past here. Okay, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that you dealt with that was very emotionally immature, and I feel like this person kept dropping the ball here. Could be dealing with another Scorpio here, okay? Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you guys don't even want an apology from this individual. Um, let's see what else we have here. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Death card. There's your energy right here, Scorpio energy. Seems like we're ending a relationship here. Whatever this is, I feel like, you know, there's a situation moving forward. I mean, this could be happening right now. This could go into 2023. I just feel like there's a situation that you know, you're you no longer giving to anymore. This is it. You're done with this, okay? Um, yeah, I just feel like you're really taking that opportunity to make some big changes here for yourself. And I feel like moving forward with the Three of Swords and the, not the Three of Swords, the Three of Cups and the Ace of Swords here. Yeah, you know, I feel like eventually, you know, you're going to put yourself out there, you know, date, meet new people, try and find new love. But I feel like you're not going to, you know, be so quick to jump into another relationship here. You know, with the Ten of Swords here and the Hermit card, you know, I just feel like you completely distanced yourself from this individual because I feel like this person hit maybe this person hurt you pretty badly. Maybe this person distanced themselves from you. It could be a situation that this person could have been dealing with an ex here too. Okay, they could have breadcrumbed you, all right? Um, the Hermit Virgo energy, the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. Seems like you're learning some big lessons here. You know, I feel like, you know, what's happening is that, you know, maybe you could have been in this energy of like trying to help this person trying to make them change but i feel like you're realizing that you can't change anyone and you all you could do is you know change your change you change your environment you know because i feel like you kind of took control here okay tell me about the death card so in 2023 when it comes to love when it comes to yourself there's going to be a huge change for you I feel like you're going to do things very, very, very differently because I feel like you've learned some big lessons here. And I feel like in 2023, I feel like you're just going to focus on your happiness here. You know, one of the things I'm getting here, I feel like it's going to clear out sometime in the fall. Whatever painful experiences, painful experiences that you went through here, some really unhappy times or unhappy memories with this person, I feel like it's going to start subsiding sometime in the fall, okay, of 2023. The uh, Three of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Cups and the Empress here, Libra Taurus. Look at that. So what's happening here, um, Scorpio? You're leveling up here. You know, I feel like when it comes to meeting new people, like I feel like you're just gonna try, but I do feel like there is fear surrounding meeting new people here. You know, I, this is so interesting. Not that I'm calling you guys like calling you guys old or anything like that. It's sort of like, you know what? I'm just too old for this or like I'm too wise for this, you, you, you know? So um, the Empress Libra Taurus here, okay? Let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for uh, Scorpio when it comes to love in 2023? What advice do we have for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to look out for?
We have the uh, Four of Pentacles, okay? We have the Three of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I do feel like moving forward, you know, I do feel like your heart space is going to open up. Whatever pain that you've went through here, you know, I feel like you are going to overcome it. I mean, the Three of Swords in the reverse, this is the swords, you know, falling out, you know, coming out of the heart. So I feel like your heart chakra is going to start opening up here, okay? Um, tell me about the, tell me more. Okay, with the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces here, with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Lovers here, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, so the High Priestess and the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It see, I feel like there is someone here that's going to be coming towards you that's, you know, a lot wiser here, a lot mature. Uh, the only drawback is that, you know, this person can be a bit unpredictable here because I feel like, you know, this King of Wands energy is, is about having like a lot of fun being, you know, you know, kind of being excited about the unknown and being spontaneous here. So it, it could be, I mean, I feel like you might have a hard time adjusting to that because I feel like some Scorpio people are like creatures of habit, you know? So, you know, I do feel like there can be new love that's coming towards you. The thing is, I feel like when it comes to this new love, uh, you know, some insecurities might be creeping up. And I feel like, I think, I feel like, you know, I feel like that's normal, especially, you know, you know, through some like experiences that you went through here. Okay. Tell me about the four of pentacles. The Ten of Cups, wow. Three of Swords in the reverse and the Magician here, wow. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, yeah, you're manifesting a new relationship, but I feel like this person's also trying to manifest with you too, okay? Um, you know, here's the thing. I feel like you're going to meet this person sometime in the spring. It's going to start off as friends, and I feel like over time, as the year progresses towards the end of 2023, I feel like it can turn into something more. We have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Tell me the High Priestess here. We have the Seven of Wands in the reverse, the King of Wands here, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's going to make you some sort of offer here. You know, I feel like when it comes to them sharing themselves about, sharing to you about themselves, I feel like this person's going to be really open and transparent, you know? Because we have that Seven of Wands in the reverse here, so I feel like... Whatever this person's telling you or whatever this person is showing you, I feel like this person is really genuine and sincere about it, okay? Tell me about the lovers here. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles here. In the Five of Wands in the reverse, yeah. So what I'm getting here is that, you know, I just feel like you don't want to be in a relationship with a lot of drama. You don't want to go into a relationship with a lot of, like, um, you know, baggage here. So, yeah, you know, once you meet this person, yeah, there could be some insecurities that creep up. But I feel like gradually over time, if you stay on top of it, you know, I feel like you can have a healthy relationship with this person. That's if you stay on top of, uh, you know, the work that you need to do from he to heal from a past situation here. Okay. You know, I always say that, you know, it is possible to have a healthy relationship. That's if you and the person is staying on top of their trauma and their triggers and stuff like that, you know, actively working on themselves every single day and being really self-aware, right? So yeah, it can happen, but you know, people, you know, most people don't want to do the work because they think it's too hard or that they don't have the resources to do it. So they just kind of like put a pass on it and thinking that it, it'll just go away on its own, which it does which it does which doesn't work that way. Okay. So um, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye